Really, really excited um, to share that we've just opened up uh, a brand new human-animal interaction lab where we're going to be inviting community members to volunteer uh, with us. So come in and bring their companion animals, specifically dogs. Um, into our space so uh, we can ask dogs whether they also want to participate and play some cognitive puzzle games uh, so that we can learn a little bit more about dogs, dog personality, how dogs see the world, how they navigate their environments um, and with that fundamental goal of um, telling guardians and other people who care about dogs uh, more about dogs so they can take care of them better. Well, one of the wonderful things about opening a lab space is that we can have multiple projects running, we can have many different kinds of research um, and so uh, at the moment we are recruiting uh, participants for our studies in dog cognition. But later on we're also going to be recruiting for therapy dog studies. And we are going to be um, looking into the question of how can we support therapy dogs and their guardians as well and their handlers um, to make sure that their dogs are happy, remain interested in working, um, and so on. But beyond that, um, this, this lab will be open for new ideas, uh, for new work by graduate students who are also interested in dog behavior and welfare. Um, for example, another project that's in the works right now is to um, figure out mood, uh, kind of uh, to get at that. A lot of people are asking the question of whether my dog is happy or how can I make my dog happy? And it's such a fundamental question and as scientists, it's really quite tricky to answer. Um, and so we are uh, looking at some studies to see if we can experimentally make dogs happy uh, and see how that impacts their ability to navigate uh, the environment. And so those kinds of studies uh, will keep coming and we're going to keep recruiting for those individual studies. So because we're just open, uh, for now uh, we have not had any official participants enter the lab, uh, so the next set of participants will be, will be our first, uh, first ones. Um, but we have had a lot of interest, um, uh, thankfully, to, uh, to these stories, to the media attention and the public support that we've received already. I think so far we've had about 200 emails asking to participate, so that's really, really wonderful news and uh, we can't wait to, to collaborate with the public. It's really great because this uh, opening of this brand new lab space also coincides with the Animal Welfare Program's 25th anniversary. Um, so before I, I came here, um, uh, this research program uh, has been running for many, many years and they have been very, very successful specifically with uh, dairy um, cow welfare, uh, laboratory animal welfare, um, and, and certainly many, many other species. And so I'm really excited on the 25th anniversary to add this new research space and to expand the program into uh, companion animal questions. Um, we, they can email me directly in my email um, and also, uh, or also go on the website, the Animal Welfare Program website, um, and there's a link there to learn more about various studies and uh, learn ways to uh, volunteer with their dogs.